Hello and welcome back. It's time for a mailbag. Quite excited about the contents of this box, but let's take a look at the others first. So this is a DigiKey order. Okay, first up, we got a ZIF socket. The ZIF socket I'm using on my memory breadboard is a cheap one off eBay and I can definitely feel that's uh, a bit more solid. You can actually get very expensive ones but this was, uh, this was a happy medium. Okay so that's a 20 megahertz and a 8 megahertz crystal. There's just one of those. Um, they're actually crystal oscillators I'm hoping to use these and a divider circuit to do some experimentations on the clock rate for my CPU build. So these are the 74HTT541 line drivers and I've got a sneaking suspicion I've ordered the wrong thing there because these are TSSOPs. I need to check my order and uh, check my stocks because I'm going to need some of those soon. Okay, quick edit time update. I didn't have enough of these, so I managed to get a rush order in. So these are the 20 SOIC ones, which are the correct size for the PCB I've designed. I just thought it would be worth showing these next to the TSSOP ones. So you can see these are a lot smaller and the pin spacing is, is much smaller as well. Now, once I get into reflow, I'm going to use these. Once you're not doing the hand soldering, then this kind of pin spacing matters less. And so I expect the spare ones of these I've got will uh, see some interesting use. I'm going to make some much more compact circuits but I do make quite a lot of use of these. And there we have some firmly stable solder paste. So I bought a Reflow Master a while back. I've been meaning to put myself together a, uh, a DIY Reflow oven and uh, that's another step along the way to testing that out. Ah, these are sponges that should be suitable for the soldering station. Might need to cut them down slightly. Okay, hopefully I've got the right stuff there. This one was getting a bit old. Okay, so these were two pounds and 83 pence. And there is a note here saying the listing was ended because there was an error. So I wonder what that was. Now, most of these solder sponges I came across were rectangular ones like this, and I wanted the square ones that would fit onto my solder station. But yeah, I think the ones I've got are larger than this, but Hopefully it's just the size difference and uh, they're not the wrong kind of sponge or something. Okay, so that's free 500 milliamp triax. Had a circuit idea a little while ago that uh, required triax. And so I thought I'd get some uh, basic ones to experiment with. Okay, so this is a PC fan, but it's a smaller size than any of the ones I've used before. And I didn't actually get this for my PC, but uh, I did have a uh, air movement project idea, which I'd like to be quiet. So. I knew these ones from the uh, PC community were very good at being quiet. So it seemed like the right choice. 
Okay, I hadn't intended this to be part of the mailbag, but you might find it mildly amusing anyway. So this is a odd fluffy powder called Carboma 940. I've got 50 grams of it. And what this is, it's a gelling agent. And uh, I'm hoping to use this to make some uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizer that gels properly like the commercial stuff. I suppose I could actually do a video on that process, but uh, you'll only see it if it works. Okay, once again, this is something that I hadn't thought was here. It does mean something I was hoping in this mail bag hasn't arrived yet. But these are some MN21 batteries. I remember the first time I came across one of these, I was quite... Uh, amazed that you could get a small battery like this that was 12 volts. There you go, 12.6. This particular purchase was because uh, my doorbell runs on these and it's time for a replacement. Okay, so I've replaced my doorbell battery and retrieved the old one. Here that's all the way down to 8.28 volts. But like I say, I was uh, quite surprised that you'd get 12 volts in one of these. And uh, they're actually quite interesting to look inside. You get a whole little stack of these tiny little watch batteries. So we've got eight of these and I assume they are a nominal 1.5 volts each so that gives us the 12 volts LR932G so that's how you get 12 volts in a tiny little battery These JLC PCB boxes are getting pretty familiar now. Beautiful. I am slightly worried that I don't have four this size um, HCT 541s in stock, so I will need to double check that and perhaps order some in a hurry. Okay, this felt like quite a quick mailbag, but obviously, this was the thing I was very keen on getting my hands on. So hopefully you'll see a soldering video for one of these nice and soon. But there's some useful components here that will uh, take various projects uh, a chunk forward. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.